Hello friends, my name is Gishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the wrapper class enhancement in Java 8. And in this video tutorial, basically we are going to consider two wrapper classes, sort and byte. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the, uh, I mean Java uh, enhancement in, I mean new method enhancement in Java 8 uh, regarding integer, uh, long, float and double uh, wrapper classes uh, in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the sort and uh, byte enhancement in java 8 so you can see on the slide uh, i have listed i mean all java 8 methods have added in these two wrapper classes so let's talk about the sort class right so in this sort class there are three api or three methods have been added in jdk 1.8 and if you look into the method name in both uh, wrapper classes method name are same but uh, if you look into the return type then return type is also same right but uh, if you look into the method argument right so here method which is available in sort wrapper class takes sort as an argument but method which are available in byte class which takes byte as an argument right and these all methods are static so you can call by its class name itself okay so and one more thing so last two methods right you can see this method is uh, used uh, you can see the name of method is two unsigned int and two unsigned long so basically this method have been designed for the positive number so unsigned number means positive number we are talking about the positive number so so this was the all about these methods uh, let's go ahead and uh, create a java project in eclipse and try to understand this method through an example so here i have eclipse and i have created a project with name sort and byte wrapper java 8 methods and here i'm going to show you how to make use of these methods so let's start from sort class and as i said this method are static so directly you can call by its class name now i would call has code method right and here you will have to pass sort value right so let's pass 23 right so 23 by default it is an integer so we will have to type cast into sort right so either you can type cast like like this Short, so error has gone or another way what you can do you can create a sort data type like data and you can assign 23 over here and this data you can assign it over here so in that case you don't require a type casting right so I hope you understood so let's say data so this is not forcing me to type cast and if you try to print hash code of this sort value so let's see what value we are getting this will return basically every object has a uh, hash code value right so if you look into so we will get the hash code of this variable right this variable and they are getting stored in the memory so this returns you the 23 itself if you look into the implementation of this method what did this method does whatever parameter you are passing that's converted that's just type casted into integer and that is returning to you that's why return type of this method is integer itself okay now let's talk about the next method so next method we have is called to unsigned int so to unsigned int so here also you can pass this data data value and this will convert this sort value in integer itself right and this value you are gonna print so just I'm showing the use I mean uh, what how we can make use of this method in your real programming world if somewhere if you want to convert I mean sort into integer then and you are very much sure this sort I mean value is coming is always positive right because this is for unsigned integer so this will this method helps helps you to convert short into integer itself right now let's see the third method or you can say last 
method so last method we have a two unsigned long if you want to convert sort into long then of course you can do this by using this method so this will convert data into long itself let's print if you run then this will perfectly run right so almost everywhere we are getting the same value because uh, everywhere we have passed this data to every method so that's why uh, output is same but uh, I hope you understood how to make use of these methods I'm not gonna sh I mean show you practically this uh, methods which belongs to the byte class this will work in similar fashion so thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to watch on the uh, this code I am going to upload on the GitHub and GitHub location I will uh, specify in the video description part itself. So uh, thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial.